Hey everyone, we've got a critical update on the situation in Ukraine. The Ukrainian military is reporting that they are currently fighting in the vicinities of a village behind Marinka, an eastern frontline town. This suggests that Kyiv's forces may have lost control of Marinka, which Moscow claimed to have seized over a week ago. That's concerning, Vincent. Open source maps show Russian troops have made their way throughout Marinka. General Valery Zaluzhny, Ukraine's top commander, even admitted that Ukrainian troops have retreated to the outskirts, stating that Marinka is practically in ruins due to relentless shelling by Russian forces. But it's not all grim news. Ukrainian military analysts believe that Ukrainian troops are holding defensive positions just outside the town, trying to fend off further Russian advances. Marinka, despite its destruction, marks a significant territorial gain for Russia. Absolutely, Leslie. While Marinka's capture may not change the overall course of the war, it's a blow to Ukrainian morale. They are currently on the defensive, dealing with manpower and ammunition shortages, and there are concerns about Western military assistance. Indeed, Tom. The coming months will be tough for Ukraine. Russian forces might target nearby towns like Karahov, Vuledar, and Pokrovsk, bringing them closer to their goal of capturing the entire Donbass region. It's a challenging situation. And let's not forget Russia's brutal tactics. They've been bombing cities and towns, reducing them to ruins, and then sending in troops for close combat. It's a strategy that has allowed them to make gains, despite suffering significant casualties. Marinka's capture is a symbolic blow to Ukraine's military, and Moscow will likely use it for propaganda purposes, especially with a presidential election coming up in March. Putin will want to show domestic support for his orchestrated election, even though he's almost guaranteed to win. Control of Marinka might not be strategically significant, given its current state, but it's a symbolic victory for Russia. They tend to make a big deal out of such captures. This war has been brutal, with towns like Bakhmut and Marinka witnessing intense battles and devastation. And we can't forget the resilience of Ukrainian forces. They continue to hold defensive lines outside Marinka. The Institute for the Study of War suggests that Russian forces might not make rapid advances from here, but the situation remains tense. So, there you have it, a critical update on the situation in Ukraine. Please subscribe and like to stay informed about this ongoing conflict.